into this mix. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the Freethinker House for our newest update. It's spring now, and the garden is coming back to life. Our house is coming back to life. There's plenty of things going on in our community. We really hope you guys will come get involved if you live in Houston. If not, of course, you can follow us on Facebook at the Freethinker House and on YouTube on the Houston Freethinkers YouTube channel. So recently we had a Freedom Cell meetup here in Houston where we started telling everyone all about the ideas that we're employing in this house, including the Freedom Cell concept, freedomcells.org if you want to find out more information. Check out some footage of that event. So last year, me and Johnny and Derek decided to move in together and I think it's been the best period of my life in terms of just the people I'm around now, uh, the conversations I can have on a daily basis, the events we can organize, the ideas that we can actually not just be be ideas, but they can actually become projects and we're, we're working with them. As I said, if you want to find out more about Freedom Cells, please check out freedomcells.org. It's a very important concept to what we are doing here in this house, and we're going to be spreading that concept all around the country this summer. Also, recently we had our spring gardening day here at the house, and we had tons of people from the Houston Freethinkers community come out. We're very thankful to everyone who came and joined us. Please stay tuned for more footage of upcoming gardening events. And again, if you're in Houston, please come out and get involved. We're going to have a gardening day coming up on April 16th. Check out some footage of the last gardening day. <laughs> Planting beans. Everyone digging in the garden. Yeah, I don't have that for posterity. Somebody scratching their butt or something. They will be saved. What you watering over here, brother? What you plant? That is a ancho Peppers? Pepper. Nice. Got a couple more over there. Sweet. We pulled up all the chard here. We're going to replant this. We're going to replant some cilantro. What are you working on, Miriam? I am making a map. This is the walkway. Oh, look. Here, I'll show you the map that we did. Is this of the herb spiral? Yeah, the herbs, the uh, medicine wheel. Did the directions, and then we have a little, uh, what is that called? Uh, so you know what, what's what that was planted. We got do, yeah. some gypsy peppers out here. We got some rosemary, um, some squash. You'll see a lot of uh, butternut squash. I'm so excited. What about, did we put the cominos in there yet? No. We'll do that. We don't have to do that yet. We can do that next. We'll do the cominos in a second. And we're adding more peppers in here. We're gonna, Mickey brought papayas, so we're gonna have papaya oh, trees. Yeah. We're gonna add these beans along the fence line. Lee, what are you planting? I'm just watching her do the Okinawa and spinach. Spinach? Awesome. So you're just pretending to help? Yeah. <laughs> Lee's pretending to help. Yeah. I'm not doing it. I'm not, I'm not here. <laughs> it wasn't me. <laughs> so we got this pomegranate tree that's starting to flower and if you look closely you can see these are early buds right here so it's already starting to turn into a little pomegranate but it won't be here till later in the year we got lots of flowers though that means lots of pomegranates we got the cactus right here and what I'm doing is I'm gonna plant more of these beans along the fence line right here so we'll have beans, and I think we're gonna put the papaya right there. So we'll have pomegranate, papaya, beans, cactus. We got the flowers up front. We got plenty of Swiss chard and kale. Still growing strong in the front yard garden. We got the compost. Let's see what Jeffrey's working on. Covering all the food with leaves? Yeah. Cool. I think, we'll, I think we'll start another one so we can let this one finish. Yeah. Start using it. Start adding to the other one? Yeah. Check it out, everyone. This is uh, the back side of the house behind the garage. The house is right there, the garden's there. We're going to do some more 4x4 four four above ground beds here. But for now, we planted some trees here. This is a lemon, Meyer, Meyer lemon tree. This is a fig tree right here. And atop here, we've got some little papayas that are gonna be growing on the top of that awesome bed. And this is where we had the compost before, so the ground, the soil is pretty good. 
but we've moved the compost now to the other side of the house and as I said this will be where more above ground beds are gonna be stay tuned so everyone we now have a chicken we're in the east end of Houston and sometimes there's a lot of chickens and roosters and just dogs and animals running around and you know we think it's kinda cool somebody brought a chicken by and it's just been hanging out in the yard and chilling in the garden the cats don't mind nobody's minding the landlord doesn't mind so we're gonna go ahead and let her stay with us of course we're not imprisoning her in any way she freely comes and goes when she gets afraid of us or something she just jumps up into the tree uh, we call her Becky Becky I think Becky is definitely enjoying all the worms that we have here and eating the bugs and stuff and her poop is gonna be good for the grass and for the garden too there goes Becky up on the up on the fence look at this chicken walking on the fence in the middle of the city pretty awesome welcome to Houston welcome to the Freethinker house please welcome Becky to the family thank you guys Becky Well, that's it for this week. Thank you once again to everyone who continues to support us and follow us on Facebook. If you want to support us monthly, you can sign up on patreon.com slash thefreethinkerhouse and look for us in your city this summer. If you want to find out where we're going to be, check out theconsciousresistance.com slash tour. We're taking our message and our work on the road under the name the Decentralize Your Life Tour and we'll be coming to 46 cities across the U.S. this summer. So please check that out. We'll see you soon. Peace.